Alright, so, hello and... Don't need that on yet. Hello and welcome back to uh, an episode, another episode of uh, Brave New World Blindfolded, and apparently I named her Cell with a colon for some reason. Okay, so, uh... I realized after I got down here, and now I can't go back up, that I forgot to get a knight's cape at the relic shop, which kind of ruins the strategy I had planned for down here, which was to throw Celeste in the back and have her just sit there defending, and then I'd probably barely need to- I probably wouldn't need to use any dried meat going through here at all. But, because I forgot the dry- I mean, the knight's cape, uh, I've gotta fight my way through everything, and- I'm gonna have to use a lot more meat. Especially since my characters are definitely under-equipped, because I did this story first. But I was expecting not to need the equipment at all. I was expecting just to clean house through everything. But, whatever. Oh yeah, and... Yeah, I don't know why, but when I was trying to... When I was test-running this earlier, if I didn't put Locke in the third slot, he, a different... He wouldn't get the different noise when from putting him in the second controller. I don't know why. <coughs> so I'll save it here and then continue on. Well, I cast a confused spell on myself. It's super effective. I somehow managed to mess that up so badly that I moved Celeste to the front row and she ended up dying very quickly because of that. The thing was, uh, the whole, like, the whole plan for this segment kinda got shot up when I, uh, forgot to buy that knight's cape. Otherwise this would have been, uh, quite easy. But then one lack of a knight's cape turns this from, uh, completely prepared for everything here and to a case of, uh, woefully underprepared. Because I don't have very good equipment besides that. My only relic is a flipping star pendant, so... That's okay. Celeste's ice fell should... Okay, never mind, that was a dog. Alright, Celeste should be able to finish that off anyway. Then maybe Locke will even finish off the dog at the bottom. There we go. Alright, I'm still moving downwards. Yeah, let me guess, this is another case of I healed 4 HP with the second dried meat. One, two, three, four. Hard leather. Useless except for telling me where I am. Alright, so I'm taking two steps back. One, two. Now I can run into this little alcove after these messages. Alright, let's just wait for Locke to go. Okay, he whiffed. Uh, oh whoops. I thought I was, uh, in the magic menu. I forgot. So I'm still heading right into the alcove.
That's a lot of attacks going off. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do lots of healing after this. There we go, finally my evasion kicking in. Though apparently not my accuracy. Yeah, you run. <laughs> yeah, I was probably in quite nasty condition after that battle. Oh no, not another one just right away. That's not good at all. Alright, Locke didn't manage to kill that one, so let's use the ice spell again. Going through MP like crazy here. If this isn't a triple private battle, I think the private probably just wasted safe on himself. So that's good. And if it is a triple battle, private battle, they're pretty much dead anyway. Yeah, it is. But that one should die before it gets a chance to move. Alright, so head right into the alcove. One left, two left, and the lights go out. Alright, so now I'm heading upwards. Right. down. At least I know I'm probably in the right place. Dang it, my usual plan is for Locke to uh, attack, because he usually goes first, and then uh, if it dies I don't use the ice spell, but that's not going so well here. Pretty much every time it hasn't died. Well, all I did was move uh, my cursor up to attack and make it more complicated for myself, but whatever. Down. Left. Up. That's one chest. Two chests. Still haven't worked out what's in them, but one, two, three, four. Oh, right, and yeah, it, I'm being dumb because I didn't heal after that fight. Alright, if Flocks. I think Celeste might actually need this somewhat. Back to the left. Back to the future. I'm certainly not going 88 miles per hour. Nice, so if I didn't mess up there, I went quite a ways, I think, without getting a battle. At least quite a ways for this place. One. Two. Alright, so I just backed out of the alcove. Cursor's still on attack. Oh, come on. Can't something die? I mean, if Slyth runs out of MP, it's not exactly a disaster, it just means more dried meats have to go. And the battles take longer, which is always a pain. Yeah, I figured that was gonna happen. 
I shouldn't have bothered moving up my cursor. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Alright, so I'm pretty sure it's one step up, and then to the left. But if I did it wrong, I can still take one step up and to the left, and I should be in the same place. One step back. This is what messed me up the first time. I thought it was two steps back there. My visual memory was messing up on me, but... Now, for once, me not getting into a battle is actually a half-decent sign. And that's a much better sign, because it tells me a lot more. Alright, so I got the ribbon, but it's obviously not all that useful down here in a place with enemies that pretty much still leaves physical attacks and a couple spells. You know, I could always try to runic those spells if I run out of MP. Celeste's physical attacks don't do a whole lot anyway, so... It's probably even worth my time, even in a blindfolded run. Then again, all things considered, I don't think... Uh, since you have to predict when the dummies are going to come, it wouldn't be that much more useful in a... I mean, it wouldn't be any... Oh no, that's not good. Alright, work my way up here. I don't remember the dimensions of the top portion of this room. Alright, so I need a plan. One back, two back, down. So there's a couple places I can be. And I'm hoping that will cover all the different places that I could have been. Blast it. This isn't good. Ah, this isn't good at all. It's unlikely I'll hit this chest just by randomly guessing. It's kind of in an awkward spot. And it's kind of hard to recover if I don't hit the chest. Got it. Okay. So I'm pretty sure it's facing up and not left. So... One, two... Alright, so I'm not sure exactly I remember the dimensions of this spot either. So let's try to work my way into this one little slot here. And then I can walk back up the staircase to the spots I remember a little bit better. I'm not sure what it is about this room. I think it would be a little bit easier to remember, considering it's actually kind of, uh, unique looking, not... Alright, so I theoretically am up the stairs right now, theoretically being the operative word. All the way up. I should know by if I get a battle after two steps, like I usually do in this area. All the way right. Yes, good, I'm probably moving in the right direction. So I'm going right out of the secret passageway. Okay, I'm in the uh, magic menu. 
Unfortunately, I, I don't think it died again. Sometimes during those long pauses, I think I've died for no adequately explained reason. Unfo this seems like another triple dog battle, so... Well, there goes some extra EXP. I suppose this battery misses now than when it uh, really makes a difference, though. Like, the first attack, because then he, they, they all get in a round of attacks, and that's just a painful experience. Alright, so I'm still going right. Down. Now, the issue with doing this part is that I... Uh, It's been a while since my test run. Oh no. Did I mess this up again? Maybe I was supposed to take a step back before I... Uh, dang it, Locke, don't miss. Alright, so I believe I'm well and truly out of magic points this time. So that's runic, even though that's probably not going to make a difference at the moment, considering the soldier just went. Alright, I've got kind of a plan to recover in my head from doing this battle. Come on. I don't need to eat another round of attack slock. Nice, so I actually got my MP back. Let's have Celeste attack. Oh, that was complete waste anyway. These stupid dogs and their stupid evasion. The segment was supposed to be easy. Ah, oh, dang it. Locke died. I might have to blow back the ice spell I just got on this soldier because of that. No wait, no, I might have just used Cure. I mean, it's not a complete disaster if I did, but... Yeah, I used Cure. Doesn't make a difference, though, because, uh... Celeste is still gonna make it through this battle, nonetheless. It's just gonna take longer. And probably blow more MP. I don't think safe even costs that much, so... I don't think I got any serious gains. Alright, let's try to revive Locke. Alright, now I let's go from where I think I might be. Down one. All the way to the left. Right one. Dang it. All 
Alright, so... I really want that magic cube. So let's start going down left, and I could end up in one of two places by my reckoning. Dang it, it didn't die. Oh wait, it did die. Okay, but it's a dog, so it doesn't help me. I should really leave the private alive if it... this time... Really, Locke? Wow, he missed four times in a row. Nothing can even blind me down here, so... There we go. Alright, so swim my way down to the bottom left. Take one step up. One to the right, we're on my way back down to the bottom left. Now run up. There we go, there's the magic cube. Now that would actually be useful, but I'm not going to bother equipping it yet. And now's where it gets a little bit easier. So I just need to run up and right a whole bunch. I should be getting close to the exit now. I'd say my odds are good that this is a... No, my odds are probably low that this is a... Alright, so it turns out I didn't know the dimensions of that one little room in the basement well enough, so I just kept walking back out again. One, two, alright, so in the earlier segment I would have been above the chest there, like the one I did so figured a long time ago. So now I need to run to this box. I don't get the handy indicator of where I was by opening the chest, but around this pot, I think we at least get to wind the clock. I can't believe I have to do any quick trick of the clock, but it has to tell me that it's ticking, so... Um... This is one space away from the box. Now I hit the treasure chest. One, two... Alright, so now here's where the encounters start. So that's why I gotta be careful. And again, I, I guess I've gotta be careful everywhere because... Ouch, running down at the start, already a battle. This time at least I know that I have Runic, <laughs> so... Yeah, he didn't... Oh, he went down, so I'm not gonna waste your MP. Instead, I'm just gonna attack. I only have a limited amount of MP, and without my Knight's Cape strategy, which would pretty much guarantee me to get through without using a single- Ah, oh, come on. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, the Knight's Cape strategy would have almost certainly enabled me to get through without using any dried meat, but... This won't be able to. I'll have to use plenty, because Locke can die very, very easily, so... Doesn't matter anyway, that one's not gonna die before it runs away. Wow, Locke needed two of those. He must have been in pretty rough condition. Which means Celeste is probably good to go, really. One, two, three, four. Grab this virtually worthless treasure. I mean, it's also for some gill, and then one slash if I sell it. If I ever deem it actually worth the money to sell it. I mean, obviously it's worth it to sell hard leather, because it sucks, but... 
if it's ever worth the effort to sell it, I suppose would be the better way of putting it. All right, so all the way down. No, now that I think about it, I didn't think about too hard about what I was going to do with the bottom of the staircase. So one, two. Oh no, I shouldn't be getting into battles here. I'm gonna run from this because I'm lost right now, and I wanna. Nah, I won't be lame. Well, now I'm on attack, so I should ice them. So hopefully that brought me down the staircase. One, two. Oh, this is looking like a bust. I probably missed the secret passageway entirely. Yeah, that's it. I'm calling it there. I mean, obviously it's worth it to sell hard leather because it sucks, but... Yikes. This is getting close, I suppose. Keep going up. Down two steps. Another battle already. Oh, hang on, there was a... Okay, now I'm confused. What, what formation was that? Well, they probably both need healing. So I just took my two steps down, so I'm going to the right now. Two steps left. All the way up. There we go, now I'm finally getting some distance. Alright, now hopefully I'm in the right place. Oh no, come on. How did this happen? One, two. Now hopefully I run my way up to that little slot again. I thought that ice would do more than that, but apparently not. Alright, so back to right, hopefully where I am now. All the way down. All the way left. Uh, whatever, I'm gonna have to call it. Alright, that should be more than enough. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Alright, so I'm going down to the secret passageway here. I should probably heal Slash, she's probably actually taking some damage now. She can't really be out of MP. Alright, let's make absolute sure this is... Yeah, this is her magic menu, so maybe she really is out of MP. Okay, no she isn't. I must have just got my cursor misaligned. Oh right, yeah, because I was already... What's going on now? No, dang it! Oh, I probably just cured the enemies, but... Or I did nothing. How does that even work? Okay, so I presume this is ice. I'm just gonna have her attack and finish whatever that is off. Or not. Or was it already dead? I'm mixing lots of stuff up here. Demi crud. That's not good. That means this battle's probably gonna be a full reheal. Rats, lots of attacks. I might wanna throw a nice spell out there. Crud. 